I've never written a book, but you always want to dedicate the book to somebody very special. And uh, in writing the book, uh, my dad thought about several people that, <coughs> excuse me, that he could pick to, to dedicate this book to. And one man stood out in his mind as he thought about several people, then he kept coming back to one man. And every time that he thought about this man, he thought about some of the things that went on in his life as he was growing up in the schools here in Hart County. And uh, the man that he would like to dedicate this book to today, <coughs> excuse me, is Mr. James Machen, if you Machen. would, Machen, James Machen. And he is here on the stage today, and he was a teacher for my dad in the Reed Creek school system. He also taught at Nancy Hart, and he taught at Title I for the high school system. And at this time, my dad would like to dedicate this book to him uh, and all that he has done as a teacher for the school systems of Hart County, and, and basically just guiding my dad and being there and being a friend. And I'd like to read something from the book that he... Uh, that Mr. James wrote, and it's a handwritten letter that he sent my dad when uh, my dad was talking about putting on this program. It was a handwritten letter in 2003 that had a very special meaning, and as I said, as I look back over the years of employment with the Hart County School System, handwritten quoted from Mr. James Machen, it always brings me great pleasure to do something for my students and to be their friend. As I've always said many times, my treasures of life are stored up in the lives of those who have passed through my classroom. And this is a handwritten letter that he sent my dad. And so my dad, in thinking about all the people he could dedicate this book to, this man stood out more in his mind, so he dedicates this book to him today. Go ahead. Well, this... Uh sort of catches me by surprise uh, having something good said about me but uh, I would like to say that when I first came to Hart County they were wearing beards and all and derby hats and I wondered what in the world was going on there have I stepped back into history or something and uh, I asked around and they said they were celebrating the centennial but uh, I stuck around for 50 years now and they're celebrating the 150th birthday. And uh, I would like to say that it is, my students, all of you, if any of you are out there, you are very special to me. You and the people of Hart County gave to me the best years of my life. And uh, if that squealing bothers you, I don't know whether it's me or the microphone, but uh, to my students, you are very special. And there isn't a student in this county that still can't come to me if he wants to and uh, wants me to do something for him. From time to time I do get requests. But uh, the years have been good and a lot has passed. One day when he was talking about this exhibit that he has, I said, well, I wanted to leave a history of the first 50 years of Hart County Schools. I had done a lot of research on it, but I never got around to it. But, but Hugh came along and he took up where I left off. And uh, also, I would like to say that Hugh has done an awful lot of work to preserve history for the future and I am proud of him and every student that I have. I'm proud of Ms. Clark who wrote Joseph's uh, oh, I can't. Joseph, <laughs> dream. Joseph's vision. Huh? Joseph's vision. Joseph's vision. Excuse me, I read the book but uh, the years has taken something out of my brain. I can't remember much 
nowadays, so if I make errors, and I, I'm sure that you have not met, you students who are here have not met my family, but does Chess and Sarah and Jason, uh, my son and two granddaughters, and he's a product of Hart County Schools, and I, I would like to say once again, thank you for the best years of my life, 33 years in Hart County Schools, and 50 years of loving the people of Hart County. And I thank you very much, and I'll turn the mic back over to somebody who can talk better than I can. One thing, is so if some of my students are here and I haven't seen you in 40-some uh, years, I probably won't recognize you, so come up and tell me who you are. I'd like to meet you. And I see Bob Cordell out there, and I, I've seen two or three others so far, but thanks again. Thank you, Hugh. Thank you, Dad. I know my dad, in talking about uh, who he would dedicate the book to, he, he kept making comments of every five minutes about, uh, that's the man that wore me out with a paddle. I don't know if that means anything or not, why he dedicated the book to it. Uh, if I knew I was going to say something like that, I would have brought my daddy with him. He, he just says that if he'd known that I was going to say that, he would have brought the paddle with him. Um, in closing here, uh, my dad's put this on with money out of his own pocket. There's no charge to come and view the pictures. But he asked about making a donation to something in Hart County. Uh, we have a Hartwell Police Department Explorer group of young kids that are in the high school level, and they're studying about law enforcement. And uh, I was telling them about this program. So he asked that if anybody would like to make donations to this today, they could make it to the Hartwell Police Explorer program. And uh, if you would like to make a donation, see someone at the Big White Tent or find me, but someone at the tent will take the donation if you want to. And that's just strictly volunteer if you would like to. I just met. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, that's